Hey, what's going on out there? This is the Quick Set Smart Key Padlock. Uh, lots of things going on here. It says Superior Security uh, Bump Proof uh, Pick Resistant. Um, so, uh, we already kind of know my feelings about the Smart Key Lock. Um, they're just built way too light duty and the way that they function um, the, the force tools that are able to be used on these uh, require much, much less skill than actually picking a lock does. So, um, you know, I really just can't stand these things. And it's not simply because they're designed to be rekeyed by the customer. It's simply because it's a very, very poor design and it's very, very subject and very, very vulnerable. Notice they didn't say anything on here. It's superior security, bump proof, pick resistant, uh, thousand pound bolt cutter resistance mm, I don't think so um, I bet you I have some bolt cutters laying around that would chop right through this thing um, 5,000 pound pry test uh, I mean you know maybe given the right angle or whatever who cares about what poundage it is if I can get a big enough bar and create a big en en enough leverage it doesn't really matter how many pounds of force it will resist um, so this is Smart Key's whole claim to fame here is that you can take this lock, you can insert this key, that's going to unlock it. First of all, uh, it looks like a ball bearing and laminated lock set up. Uh, laminated locks, eh, they're not as good as regular solid body locks. And it looks like it's key retaining, ouch, looks like it's key retaining, so uh, you actually have to close the lock to get your key back out. Um, so the way you would rekey this is you would stick in your existing key, you would turn it over, you'd push in this button with this tool right here, just like so. You'll feel a slight click. Um, you'd pull this key out, you'd put your new key in, you'd actually rotate it over, or well, I guess we'd have to have that back in there, rotate it over, and then now your new key works with it. Um, so that's the way that it's all supposed to work. Just seen way too many force tool videos and when I take these apart I usually find that there's you know light duty materials, um, cheap cheap pot aluminum, pot steel instead of brass, uh, very vulnerable to heat uh, and uh, plasticky type parts in there and just not strong enough to withstand the force tools that are being applied to these because it's not a standard pin tumbler lock and it's not an all brass housing. Uh, that's just my personal take on it. If I have my other bolt cutters close by, I'll tell you whether or not that thing's gonna be heavy or not. And these are very, very dull. I actually haven't even sharpened these since I did my chain video. <sighs> oh yeah, that wouldn't take much. That wouldn't take much from these to cut. So, um, mm. Yeah. Instead of ruining this lock, oh, wow. That is so cheap. I think I didn't even try to break it and it broke. It didn't break all the way, but I just wanted to show that this is an indent that those bolt cutters would put in there. I'm barely putting any pressure on it, actually. And uh, it looks as though to me that right there, I can feel it. That cracked. So it doesn't look like, because I didn't want to damage this, I actually want to send this out and see if, uh, uh -oh. what did we do to it here? Mm. Huh. Let's see if somebody could pick this or not. Mm. There it goes. I wonder what happened. Huh. Oh, it looks like it just somehow bent in there. Well, you can see right there, I mean, it didn't even withstand just barely trying to attack it. Actually, I broke this thing. Let's see if I can get some leverage on it and get it to bend back so I can send it out. Okay, well, 
Uh, you know, I broke it and I didn't even tend to do so. Well, I'll work on that and then we'll try and send this back out and uh, see if they can pick it. So, thanks for watching. Okay, so yeah, I was able to shave a little bit of this and actually bend it back right to where it would uh, function properly and actually relock and then it would release the key again and then lock up. So uh, we are gonna send this out. Uh, I mean, my opinion remains the same on the smart key. Uh, it does not seem like a quality product. And uh, if the shackle's gonna break when I'm not trying to cut it, um, and you can see that it is cracked. I mean, and it is cracked all the way around on this side too. Uh, so, you know, take that as you will on uh, what they're gonna do with their with their uh, materials. They make it look fancy, but if you take, you know, and strip this off, you've got a, a very unsecure cylinder, in my opinion, and uh, not the best shackle uh, material either on a laminated body. Um, you know, lots of moving parts and stuff in here too. Uh, so dirt and things like that are probably going to be uh, not a very good thing for this lock as well. So for more information, check out the website below. Hey guys, it's the end of the video. Um, you know, help me out and help me help you out. Uh, right below the description box right here is a red subscribe button. Subscribe to me and then you're going to get the latest and greatest information that I put out. Sometimes it applies to you, sometimes it doesn't. Um, you know, it, it's just going to at least let you know that uh, we're putting out new and current information. And then right over here is a thumbs up button. Give me a thumbs up. Help this video uh, rank higher in the searches for the search terms that you're using and let other people be able to see this. Um, you know, that's the best way you can help. Interact. Leave a comment. I will get back with you if I can and try and help you answer your questions. But the more you interact and post this to Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and spread this through the social media, uh, the more that allows me to be able to help do more videos. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, subscribe share and like. Thanks a lot guys. Appreciate it.